version one is the expert just demonstrates the thing over and over and over and talks about it. And the student needs any practice on it. That's a fail. Um, or two, I'm not going to tell them how to do it. I'm going to just say, go and do this stuff. And they're just flopping around. That's highly inefficient. Yeah. And it's, it's, it becomes so obvious when you think of it, um, in, in terms of sports, like imagine you sign up for lessons with a tennis coach and the whole time they're just, they're showing you all these techniques and stuff. And mm -hmm. then like, and then it's done Hour passes. Like you haven't, you're, you're just holding your tennis racket the whole time. You haven't hit a ball or anything. You haven't even swung it. The other failure mode is they just say like, okay, you two versus you two go play each other. And I'm going to go run an errand. I'll be back in an hour. This is a, a dereliction of duty. This is not doing your job. Right. So why in a math class would we expect the situation of the teacher just talking the lecture, right? Which we know from universities in particular, but typically most schools have done with this sort of a lecture teacher gets up and just talks. Sometimes I cold call on people. And if they sign homework, it's like, okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to talk about tennis for an hour. And then I want you to go practice by yourself, you know, and maybe, maybe I'll have you take a video a couple of things. I'll give you feedback like that. No, that is stupid. Anyway. Anyone who has actually tried to acquire, seriously tried to acquire skills in something, a sports, music, art, anything like that, where it was important to develop these skills, they understand that this is, this is basically how it's done. I mean, there's a little variation, you know, you can change things up a little bit and whatever, but the, the, that's, the, that's the core of what super efficient learning process would be. Guided instruction with rapid feedback cycles of explicit, direct instruction on, on, on what the student is supposed to be doing, what's the proper technique, followed immediately after the student is actually going and hitting the ball, <laughs> going through their reps, getting really solid on the skill. They do that on some, some more skills. The next session, they, they pull some of those skills together, compound movements.